Right, so here we have it. This quarter's Third Man Records Vault number 32, I think. Um, yeah, obviously paid for this three months ago. Very excited about it. It's a dead weather package. Um, I've not seen what's inside apart from the original uh, promo art, the, the advertising, all that time ago. Um, let's have a look. Let's open it up. So I've not opened it, I've cut the seller tape so we can get in there. First of all. Ooh, what is this? The Dead Weather Dodge and Burn. This, I believe, is the, um, they've made this box to put um, the seven inch singles over the last year with the vault they've been doing um, seven inch singles from the Dodge and Burn LP and this is the box to keep them all in so what we've got inside so there's the usual card vault package 32 the dead weather live at May in Los Angeles Hot on the heels of the release of their debut album, Hawkhound, the Dead Weather played an absolutely incredible set of, at the legendary Mayhem Theatre in Los Angeles on August 26, 2009. This fiery performance captures the band at their most feral and raw. Firing on all cylinders, full of bloke and glass, black leather and strobe lights. For years, this show has been whispered about as one of the best shows the band has ever played. So now felt a better time than ever to release this performance to the world. It is a deluxe box as well. They use this special ink that kind of... Is it called Soft Touch? It's lovely though, absolutely lovely. There's the band. Right, DVD. Upside down, DVD. Bit of reflection there. And cellophane set list fantastic what's this ah the mystery key we spotted this on the promo art um when originally ordered oh wow look at that So it's solid metal, quite heavy. A dual snake serpent. I think. Is that focusing? Don't have my glasses on. Any clues as to what it can be for? I don't think they've actually told us what it's for. That's quite weighty, that's really nice. The key. The key to what? Curiouser and curiouser. Let's get rid of this box. So. What do we have in here? Seven inch. Oh, that's a nice cover. And the back of it. Three dollar hat and lose the right. Original songs. Let's see what the vinyl looks like. There's some, I don't know what it is, but there's something about a coloured vinyl that is so fucking special. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? 
thumbs up for that. Pop that in the box. Jack White should, um, or the whole band in the Dead Weather case or the Raconteurs, but whoever, whoever's the lead um, artist, I think like just one vault package, they should sign it or something. Blow people's fucking minds. Let's have a look at the artwork before we see the vinyl. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Is that obviously you can tell from my accent that I'm from the UK, but is that set of digits always on the back of the O on the Hollywood sign? Perhaps you could let me know in the comments. I think I've only got four subscribers, so hopefully one of you four know. And to be honest, one of those subscribers is my wife. So any of the other, any of you other three, um, yeah, does that code always appear on the back of the O oh, in the Hollywood Hills? Gatefold, crunchy gatefold. That's lovely, isn't it? Go kind of with the um, downtown Los Angeles underneath. That's lovely. What's that inside? Oh, nice, a little bit of artwork. That's beautiful. So, I don't know if you're getting that, but it's kind of metallic underneath. That's lovely. That's going to look nice in a frame. Any other hidden treasures? No. I will say, also, no, obviously I love the vault, but it would be nice to have a, um, a digital download code so you could listen to it in the car. Look at that, that's beautiful. Classic third man colours. Van Morrison track on there, Bob Marley so Beautiful. The same, same colour. Will there be an afford? I love that song, love it. Oh, nice, it's the whole. The whole side is just one reminds me of the the old um, Pink Floyd songs. I wonder if it was meant to be a tune tone. There's a little bit of um, if you can get that black fleck in there. I'll have to look on the picture. I don't mind it being different to the rest, to be honest. Just plain orange. I quite like that. Bob Dylan someone there as well. Yeah, great. That's really nice. So yeah, let me know if you know um, questions of the day. Question one, what's the key for? What do you think it opens? What would that open? Oh, yeah, you can hear his metal. Nice weight to it. What's the secret of the key? 
Or is it just a nice bit of artwork? It's nice. And question two, does the O in the Hollywood Hills, let's zoom in rather than, always have that code on it? Oh, you correct, focus. 12, 19, 16, 11, 7. Right. Big thumbs up for me. Hopefully you liked it. Um, forgot to zoom there. Bit of bad camera work there. Yeah, hopefully you liked that. Uh, if you did, and you're not a subscriber, you're not one of the two subscribers, hit the subscribe button, share it with your pals, stay tuned for more. Actually, be right back. I'm going to go and get the other 7 inch singles. Pop them in the box. Um, show you them all. Give me two minutes. Well, there'll be a transition, so give me 30 milliseconds. Right, here we have it. Here are the um, six singles. That one doesn't seem to match very well, but, but they are all from the, from the vault. So they're all... Um, Nice clear vinyl on that one. Buzzkill, it's just too bad. Pop it in the box. I feel love every million miles and cop and go. Nice marbled effect. Possible winner, mile markers. So the one we've just seen, three dollar hat, lose the right. Open up, that's enough, rough detective. Clear smoky, clear and smoky. Nice. And then finally, we've got Let Me Through and Be Still. Beautiful. Nice little touch that, I like that. I've got some other Dead Weather singles that I might just throw in there. Place gently. But yeah, thanks for watching again. Um, if you did like it leave a like tell your friends um, got a couple of other channels one I'm about to become a father so I need to um, find somewhere to put all my nice records that's out of baby's reach I guess I've got a, a year baby's due in August 28th um, I've got another gaming channel called the Grumpy Aging Gamer. If you like computer games and seeing an old man play VR screaming. That's for you. Alright, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Love the support. See you next time. Like and subscribe.